Got a senior that's having some accidents? You need gloves. These are great to have around if you have a senior who's having some bathroom accidents. In my experience, many seniors do not readily admit if they've been struggling with some situations. They're great to have around, but not all gloves are created equal, and we're gonna talk about it. First though, if you are in an emergency situation and you do not have gloves, check under your senior sink for those old school yellow dishwashing gloves. They're great in a pinch. I wouldn't wanna use them regularly because you'd have to wash them with soap and water. If you find yourself buying gloves, there's a lot of different kinds, so you wanna make sure you get the right type. Expect to pay around $10 to $12 for a box of 100 and they are not covered by Medicare. First, you may see the one-size-fits-all plastic food handling gloves. I would not recommend these. They are very thin, they break easily, they even slip off. You might be tempted though because they're cheap. The two most common are vinyl and nitrile gloves. It's hard to tell the difference between them by looking, so I'm gonna explain. Vinyl gloves, they don't really stretch. They break very easily and they're more permeable to bacteria. So it's very easy to break them. What typically happens is the fingertips will break if you're stuffing an incontinence pad or a sheet underneath your senior. Nitro gloves, the best of the best, stretchier, they fit more snugly and they're more difficult to break. When you look online, you'll see lots of colors. Color doesn't matter, so get what you want. All gloves will make your hands sweat, especially if your job is prolonged and messy. Think changing the diaper of a full-size adult. Stay away from latex gloves in case people have allergies. In short, look for nitrile, powder-free gloves and I will put some links up for purchasing them. Get some, you won't regret it.